should you go for LFP battery or an MC battery when you are buying an EV? What is the difference between LFP and an MC? Which one is better? Today's episode I am going to cover on the comparison between LFP and an MC battery. Hello everyone, welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. Both LFP and NMC batteries are called as lithium ion batteries because the underlying principles of working of these batteries are the same. That is a lithium ion going between cathode and anode whether you are charging or discharging. So that is why they are called as lithium ion batteries. In fact, some manufacturers do not even disclose whether it is an L LFP or an NMC battery. Now, before we go into more details, just a history of uh, these lithium ion batteries. So, it was invented in 1976, the first lithium ion battery, but it was not LFP, not NMC, but it was a lithium ion carbon oxide battery. But later in somewhere in 1990s, the first commercially viable LFP batteries were invented. And much later in uh, somewhere around 2000, the NMC batteries were invented. So, in my some of my videos, I have been saying that LFP is a more recent chemistry than NMC. So, I was wrong there. So, I apologize. LFP is nearly a decade older technology than NMC. Now, let us take more detailed look into these batteries. But before I do that, a kind reminder to like this video and subscribe to my channel because that is what keeps me going. Right. So, talking about LFP and NMC batteries, the one thing common as I said is the underlying chemistry which is the lithium ion going between the cathode and anode and another, another common aspect is the anode of both LFP and NMC batteries are the same. They are usually graphite or some sort of a carbon material. So, the anode is same. The cathode makes the difference whether it is a LFP or NMC battery. In the case of NMC battery, it is nickel, manganese and cobalt. So, in this uh, nickel forms almost 8 parts and one part is uh, manganese and one part is cobalt. So, that is how the mixture is in, in the case of NMC battery. In the case of a LFP battery, LFP stands for lithium iron. So, it is not iron, lithium iron phosphate battery. So, that is Li, iron is Fe and PO04 is phosphate. So, it is also LIFEPO04. So, that is the chemical name of this uh, uh, compound. So, in the case of LFP battery, you have equal amounts of uh, phosphate and iron in, in the battery. So, that is how uh, they look uh, in real life. Now, let us take some comparison between the two batteries. So, let us look at some parameters when we compare these two batteries. So, let us first start with the energy density. If you are talking about NMC battery, the energy density is very good. It is 175 watt hour per kilogram. That means, in 1 kilogram of uh, NMC battery, you can generate up to 175 watt hour of uh, uh, capacity, storage capacity. When it comes to LFP, it is 110 watt hour per kg. So, that means that for the same amount of energy that you need to produce, LFP batteries are heavier than NMC or NMC can pack more energy in a, in a smaller uh, package of the, of the battery. How does it look in real life? So, let us take an example of uh, a car that needs to run 420 kilometers of real life range which would re roughly require about 70 kilowatt hour of battery. To produce 70 kilowatt hour of battery with this kind of energy density, you need a 400 kg of uh, NMC battery. Whereas, if you look at the same for uh, LFP, it is 636 kg. So, you need a heavier LFP battery, almost one and a half times heavier than the NMC battery. So, LFPs are heavier, NMCs are lighter. Let us look at the charging speed. The charging speed and the performance. NMC obviously scores higher here. It uh, it can charge. Let's say if, if a NMC battery can charge in two hours, 
for the same ch charging uh, capacity lfp batteries takes 3 hours so higher charging speed higher performance for nmc uh, and a medium charging speed and a medium uh, performance for lfp so that's how it uh, looks talking about packing density now there is there is a difference we we spoke about energy density now we are talking about packing density that means how much you can compress the materials inside the battery to make up for the the space in inside uh, you know the battery so the packing density of nfc is uh, medium whereas for lfp it is higher that's because lfp batteries are more safer than nmc so you can package the LFP batteries more condensed than the NMC battery. So even though the energy density, there is a difference because of this package, packing density, the overall volume or the space that requires for the LFP battery is not too bad compared to the energy density. So as you can see in this picture, this is how it looks like. So it's not one and a half times more space is required for LFP, but it's, it's, it's still slightly more, but not one and a half times. So that means you can have a smaller LFP battery, which, uh, which is heavier for the same uh, volume of uh, uh, NMC battery. So that's what it means. Now let's talk about charging cycles or the cycle life, right? So charging cycle is like the ability of a battery to go from 100 to 0 and 0 to 100. So, um, NMC can go up to 2000 charging cycles, which is very good. But this is where LFP beats NMC. Uh, LFP batteries can go more than 3000 charging cycles before uh, it, uh, it dies off. So uh, the life of LFP battery is nearly one and a half times here, uh, just based on the charging, uh, charging cycle. So that's where LFP scores over NMC. And the next important thing is fire and the thermal runaway. So both these batteries are pretty safe uh, from a fire hazard. Don't get me wrong on that. Whether it's NMC or LFP, the percentage of a fire happening is very, very low for both the cases. But if you compare between the two, you have a, a medium chance of a fire or a thermal runaway happening in an NMC chemistry compared to an LFP. So LFP chemistry is that, uh, that's why it is more safer because they, they have lesser fire risk and lesser uh, risk of uh, thermal runaway. Next is the most important thing, the cost. The cost again here it is, for NMC it's about $100 or 8,700 rupees as of today to produce one kilowatt hour of uh, battery. whereas for LFP, it is cheaper. It is seventy dollars or six thousand rupees per kilowatt hour. So that's uh, again LFP scores some points over here. If you talk about environment impact, again an an important thing. You would have seen all these videos about um, in in Congo cobalt mining happening using child labor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is a, a serious concern. Maybe it is true. Uh, so if you are concerned about that, then NMC battery is the one that uh, causes more cobalt mining, which means more probably child labor in somewhere in Congo or wherever this, these batteries are bind, uh, mined. So that's NMC, whereas in the case of uh, LFP, the materials are abundant. So in the case of NMC, both manganese and cobalt are uh, slightly on the rarer side. So that's why you need to mine in different places of uh, the world. But in the case of LFP, the iron and phosphate are much more abundantly uh, available. And the next important thing is recycling. The recycling of uh, NMC batteries uh, is harder compared to uh, an LFP battery. So LFP batteries are easier to recycle. Okay, so let's sum it up quickly. Both LFP and NMC batteries are lithium ion batteries. NMC batteries have a better energy density, better power. Uh, ratio. So, if uh, power is uh, very important, performance is important and the space is a constraint, then NMC batteries fit very well. But LFP batteries are durable, they are safer, they are better for the environment and they are easily recyclable and they are cheaper. So, there are a lot of 
positives on the LFP side when compared to NMC and more and more car companies are leaning towards LFP nowadays and that is why my suggestion is always to go for cars with LFP batteries. That is it for today's episode of Green and Clean YouTube channel. See you again in other episodes. Thanks for watching.